Hey everyone in YouTube, it's Shane. <laughs> Welcome to Pennsylvania. Here's what's going on right now. <laughs> we got a massive snowstorm. It's probably going to be, what, six, ten inches? I don't know. You ever hear my song, Minivan, off the latest album? <laughs> that was the inspiration behind it. <laughs> That's my minivan. Rick wrote the song after I bought it, and uh, I used to be cool, but now I drive a minivan. Well, I'm in the shed. I got two heaters running. I just had to run out, get some more propane for the propane heater. And then the electric heater I usually keep in my basement is out here. And I am working. I have got a whole slew of cigar box guitars started. And all of them are going to be with some rare Macanudo Portofino Cafe boxes. And these suckers are all wood. These are the old ones. They're probably 10 years or older. And uh, the guys from St. Blues Guitars out of Memphis contacted me and knew that I loved these boxes. And... Uh, said that they had a whole bunch and wanted to know if I wanted them. Apparently these boxes came from a clothier in Memphis. Whoever owned it loved Portofino cafes or they sold them there, I don't know, but apparently this clothier also made clothes for Elvis. So <laughs> these cigar box guitars are gonna have an Elvis connection to them. Um, but I'm out here, I'm building those. I'm also working on a project for CB Giddy. Uh, I've got this. This is going to be for my own personal use. It's using one of CB Giddy's hubcap resonator cones. These are paint can lids that they hand spin. And I am working on a really big video and blog project featuring them. And they've got some cool resonator covers and things that are coming down the pike so he sent me uh, a bunch of prototype stuff and I'm working on it and I can't wait to show that to you um, it's been a while since I've posted my shop on YouTube I've shown some of this on Facebook and elsewhere uh, but let me show you around my shop real quick this is my main work area here and I had built four of these plywood and two by four workbenches I would found free plans online and just built a bunch years ago but there's my main workshop area and I've got a belt sander and I'm pretty excited because I just got a whole bunch of new belts down there I bought them on uh, Amazon and that's just a skill belt sander I keep my vacuum up here and the hose will come down and when needed I'll put it in there uh, if not it goes to clean up the work area I've got a scroll saw here man I love this thing um, and that's what I use for F holes for so many different things it's nice to have it right here uh, cordless drill cordless drill uh, charger is up on the wall out of the way my Dremel is right there, ready to go. I've got all my Dremel bits right here. Right there is my wood burner. Guys, I've talked about this before, but the Coalwood Detailer Wood Burner from woodburning.com is just fantastic. It's expensive. You're going to spend probably 150 bucks on everything by the time you're done, but it gives such great details and... Man, it just gets real nice and hot. Uh, so, let me see. This is crazy. Giddy, CB Giddy came out with this tool organizer. And it, I just have it jammed. Mostly with screwdrivers, a couple pliers, um, different things that I use as I'm working. Um, at Harbor Freight, I bought a couple of these magnets. So, over here, now it's kind of covered in sawdust. Um, but that's some of my bits that I use most often, including screwdriver bits, drill bits, and uh, 
Harbor Freight, I got one of these long um, uh, electric strips. So that goes right there. I just got a new vise a couple months ago from Lowe's. That's set up right here. Man, that's nice. If I put like a guitar neck on here, I'll usually wrap the guitar neck in cardboard before I put it into the vise. That way I can like, if I'm doing cutting out a headstock or something like that, it, it's just so easy. Down there, I have my air compressor. Just a cheap one from Harbor Freight. Um, and I use that for a lot of different things from my nailer to, you know, just cleaning stuff off with the sprayer, a lot of different things. Right over here, easy access is just a cheap shelf where I keep various screws, bolts, and things I need. Okay, speaking, oh wait, first of all, sandal spinner, spin, spindle sander <laughs> is right here. Um, this is another Harbor Freight purchase, and uh, at first I didn't use this much. Lately I've been using it a lot. That smaller spindle, whenever I go and do my headstocks, it gives me this nice curve right here, and it's great for details. Um, drill press that I've had for years sitting over here. I've been moving it around as I need it. Um, a whole bunch of pipe organ pipes. These are going to be a really cool concept of a guitar amplifier using sort of like the Bose Wave radio sound chamber technology uh, in a very <laughs> folk art way. Um, look for that someday. I'm still trying to uh, figure that out. So I got a chop saw here. If you look up there, there is the banner from when my dad did the grand reopening of Spiel's Tavern way back, what was that? It was probably, what, almost 10 years ago. I forget. But, uh, yeah, it had my concert whenever I did it. So I'm pretty proud of that. And then this is kind of the piece de resistance. Oh man, a friend of mine, her father had these for his business. And after he passed away, they were clearing out his work area. And she just gave me these. And these are just little drawers that I have, you can see. Tuners, where my Shane Spiel signature tuners are in there. Volume pots, capacitors, piezo discs, bridges, and all different types of pickups. Those are usually what I have up on top here in preamps. And then you go down and I've got screwdriver bits, drill bits, and so on and so forth. Now, some parts of my shop are a little messy and... Uh, that's kind of how I like it. <laughs> I know where everything is. And then I've got, you know, some extra tools up here. Always hanging from the rafters are necks and things. I've got a crazy old fan that I just <laughs> put up there. And that's about it. I've been working out in here for the last week, especially working on this new Giddy project. Um, and then also getting these cigar box guitars ready. So, in addition to preparing um, some new how to play lessons, uh, I've got a lot of building tips coming up soon. And I've just been having a blast out here. Uh, come out here, I get those heaters running, I get myself a nice fine cigar going, and I'm in my happy place. Oh, and I did a thing on this one other time. Here's a great little tip for you guys. This is a cheap shoe rack that hangs over a door. And you can find these at Amazon. And that's what I use to hold my spray paint, my uh, polyurethane, this, you know, goes right in there. It's just the perfect size. So, uh, 
just some ideas for you. So that's what I'm doing today. I figured I'd just uh, check in with you and let you know what's happening in Shane Spiel land. Uh, guys, um, there's, <laughs> if you haven't seen, there's a few things. First of all, Cigar Box Guitars with an S. Cigarboxguitars.com. I have been adding more articles to it. Check that out. It is kind of like the encyclopedia of the Cigar Box Guitar. It has all this history in there. A lot of cool instruments. Um, Poormansguitar.com, of course, is my blog. And then go to cigarboxguitar.info for all the cool shirts that I've been doing. Um, I've been working on those, trying to do one new shirt a week lately. And all of that stuff just goes to support this channel and all my other blogs. Uh, there will be, there is definitely going to be private lessons being offered soon at stubbyslide.com. Uh, the reason it's taken me so long is I needed to figure out a proper calendar, uh, you guys, um, what I'm going to be doing is offering the lessons in four packs. Um, and once you buy the four pack, then you go to a certain calendar and choose the days that you want to meet with me online. And so that was kind of taking a lot of my time uh, getting that ready. But I'm soon going to be launching that. Uh, I had a blast doing private lessons with you guys, with the people that I did it. I got to know you. I got to see how you're playing. I got to see what you need. Um, and um, so that's going to be really cool. But yeah, for now, I'm in the shed. And there are all these three string cigar box guitars getting ready. And uh, these will be offered at stubbyslide.com. I'm going to get a few of them done and then. What I'll probably do is post them for, uh, you know, get get them done as far as I can. And some of them will be offered for sale immediately. And then once those sell out, others will be offered um, a build to order. Which means I'll have most of it done. You order one, and in a week or two, I'm able to ship it out. So that's what's going on. I hope you guys are doing good. Stay safe out there. And, uh, you know, just uh, <laughs> enjoy the weather. If you look right here, I've got a bird's nest there. And <laughs> yesterday on, on Instagram, I posted a picture of a bird on my windowsill. And it somehow found a tuft of my dog's hair in the grass. And it was building a nest, and there's a couple birds in there right now. Um, I've been having fun on Instagram, too. So uh, my Instagram is at Cigar Box Guitar. Real easy. All right, guys, you take care, and uh, I will talk to you soon. It's time to go make some sawdust. So <laughs> I'll see you guys soon.